Hazelwood won't be letting Stoneman up easy. Holy! That is a massive response to having a catch drop last over. What did you make of the way that the English batsmen handled the short ball today on a, on a fast and bouncy whack of wicket? Yeah, I think they've all looked a little uncomfortable. Um, you know, Stoneman popped the nasty one in the grill and luckily he got through that one okay. He got a few more on the gloves and we saw the one that hit his handle that snapped the handle in half. He got a pretty solid working over. The other guys have looked okay. Milan got a working over when he first came out, but as you can see, he's got through that. He weathered the storm and found a way to combat it. But I was impressed with the way the boys bowled on that pitch as well. They, they're probably a bit surprised to see that much pace and bounce in the wicket today because it hasn't been there for the last five or six years that we've been here in Perth. You know, the difficult thing about Perth is when you're starting your innings, with the extra bounce and pace there is in the wicket, it's actually quite hard to get a, a good pull shot away comfortably. I always found the Wacker uh, one of the best places in the world to play hooks and pull shots because you, the bounce was so true. So, And I'm sure we'll see our guys when they get their chance to bat against the England attack, probably not quite as much pace. I think you'll see quite a lot of hooking and pulling from our batsmen. Oh, that's it! First left, drops it! Ricky, we've seen a couple of drop catches here today, Lyon and Marsh. What have you made of them from a technical standpoint? Oh, look, I think they'll both be disappointed they put those ones down. I was on air, actually, at the time of both of them went down and obviously being consecutive balls, so... Um, yeah, Mitchell Marsh's one, that was a technique I used to sort of favour a lot. I caught in the slips a lot and I caught with my fingers pointing up a lot. But the main reason for me doing it was my body height was naturally quite low. Like, I got quite low and then, you know, with the balls, especially off the back foot, when they came off the edge, the, the ball was always above the level of my eyes, so I always felt comfortable catching with my, my fingers up. I think Mitchell Marsh's one today, because you stand so far back at the whacker, I think when that started coming towards him, he thought he would have had to catch it with it, you know, up near his face some, somewhere, but by the time it got to him, it sort of dropped a little bit, and that's the uncomfortable height then when you're catching with your fingers up, so they'll both be disappointed. Um, you know, Nathan Lyon especially as well, when they're lobbing the air like that and you make such good ground, when you dive, it's actually a pretty simple catch to take. And, so yeah, they'll be disappointed. Technically, could they do much differently? I don't think so. It, it, in the slips, you know, on television especially, the slips catching looks a piece of cake. Like it, it, viewers always will think, well, how on earth did he drop that? But when you're out there and the ball's travelling about 130 k's an hour, sometimes you can understand that the boys are going to put one down.